And oh my God, I was so wrong because it was a disaster. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. It's not a good idea to use ChatGPT uh, to get... Всем привет! So, last week, uh, YouTube started recommending different videos on how to learn a foreign language with ChatGPT. I mean, I tried uh, using AI uh, when I was learning Turkish and uh, Farsi, because I usually create uh, personalized learning plans uh, for myself when I study foreign languages. So I thought uh, that ChatGPT would come in handy, uh, for example, for creating texts or mm, grammar exercises. And oh my god, I was so wrong because it was a disaster. Mistakes, um, weird comments, and um, even wrong explanations. So I think that teachers of fullest common languages can relax because AI is not going to take their jobs away anytime soon. Uh, but the reason why I decided to make this video is um, that I realized I've never really tested how ChatGPT works for learning Russian. So I took some uh, prompts from different videos and um, today want to try them for Russian language. Um, I should say that I'm using the free version and if you use the newer version, you can try some prompts and uh, compare the results. So let's start with the vocabulary. And I want to try uh, to get uh, the most frequently used words in Russian. One hour later. So we have a, a list of the 100 most frequently used words in Russian. And I, <laughs> I can see uh, one problem. Because I wanted uh, to get only nouns, adjectives and verbs. And... This is definitely not a noun or a verb. So, well, okay, it's not probably not a big deal. I'm not sure that's really a good list. Дела, жить. Okay, лицо. Хорошо. Ага. Взять. Okay, делать. So I can I can see a small problem here um, with verbs. So, for example, you can see here uh, the verb взять and also делать. And the problem is that uh, взять is a perfective form and делать is imperfective. So if you're not familiar with the concept of verbal aspect, um, and you get uh, such list, then, um, I mean, it's not a problem, but uh, you can get confused. Uh, especially if you want uh, to use these verbs and then you um, see other verbs with the same meaning. And yeah, well, that's probably not uh, not the best. So for example, maybe if we add uh, to our prompt, something like, uh, please uh, mark if it's a perfective or imperfective, uh, then it might work. Uh, in general, this list doesn't look bad. It's just, it's just a bit random. <laughs> I mean, okay, работать is definitely a very frequent uh, verb, but radnoi. Like, okay, I'm not sure. Now let's uh, try uh, with the grammar. And I want to get some grammar exercises to practice because it's a pretty common problem when we want uh, to get more practice, to get more examples, but we don't have them. So I decided that I need some exercises to practice the accusative case. And I want ChatGPT to create some sentences with blanks. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, something went wrong here because I wanted uh, to practice uh, like nouns and adjectives. 
But for some reason, we already have like the correct form of the adjectives and we only need to change nouns. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Maybe it can be also a good uh, good practice. In general, like the sentences look okay. Mm, they look normal. Answers are correct. So maybe if I try again, then I will get a better result. But anyway, still, I guess it can be used. The only thing that I can see, we don't have uh, uh, an example uh, with verbs of motion. And the accusative case is used not only for uh, direct objects, but also with verbs of motion. So I guess it would be uh, useful if we had such examples, but for some reasons we don't. But of course we can try to generate um, specific, uh, specific sentences uh, where we have only verbs of motion or we can add to our prompt that please also <laughs> include verbs of motion. But in general, I guess it's uh, not a bad option. For example, if you're looking for more um, exercises, more practice, like why not? Now let's try uh, to practice several cases at the same time. For example, uh, let's let's pretend that we we just learned the accusative and the prepositional case, and we want to practice them together. So I want uh, ChatGPT to create uh, different sentences. Again, I want nouns and adjectives together, but we will see. I wanted to practice specifically prepositional and accusative cases, but here we have an example of uh, the genitive case. And here again, we should use the genitive case. And we don't have adjectives here. Cool. In general, the explanations are fine. But again, the problem is that we didn't really get what we wanted, or at least what I wanted. So um, I assume that um, I have to correct this prompt, uh, maybe add more details. Okay, now I, I'm even afraid to continue. Now let's try to get some explanations and learn some grammar. So I want to know about the present tense in Russian. Let's see. Okay, in Russian, the present tense indicates action that are happening now. Okay, true. T verbs. Well, let's be honest, that's not a very good example. <laughs> it's not the best uh, explanation. Because usually uh, when we start learning the um, conjugation, and for example, like we learn the present tense, then uh, we divide uh, verbs into two groups. So verbs ended in at and eat. So, okay, yes, we can see this one is mal chat, but this is not uh, like a regular verb. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Cool. At least we know that uh, the present tense indicates action that are happening right now. And that's correct. Ooh, so let's try the last prompt. Um, I found it very interesting because I know that a lot of people um, like to listen to the music and they memorize the lyrics. And uh, I know that some people even try to analyze and learn about the grammar through the songs. So that prompt uh, should help you with that, hopefully. You can see that uh, in my prompt, I wanted to get two types of uh, translations. First, like a word-by-word -word translation, and then, let's say, a normal translation. And also, I wanted to receive uh, some grammar explanations and comments. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's true. That is uh, <laughs> word by word. <laughs> oh, we even have a comment. <laughs> well, this is not true because skazet is not a form of the verb gavarit, but uh, it's a form of the verb 
сказать. And for example, again, here would be nice to receive a comment that actually uh, говорить и сказать is a pair. So говорить is an imperfective and сказать is a perfective form. If you like uh, listening to different songs and uh, you find it fun, then maybe uh, such practice um, can be very useful for you. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed because I expected a uh, better result. Uh, but that's what we have. Probably um, it's, um, it's a nice idea to use ChatGPT to create more grammar exercises. Also, it seems that um, it's not a good idea to use ChatGPT uh, to get um, grammar explanations. It can choose wrong examples. So what do you think about uh, ChatGPT and uh, using it for learning Russian? Maybe you've tried already and uh, you got much better results. So let me know in the comments. And see you next time.